Hello and welcome to the Sunday Preview Rundown. Out of nowhere? Because I was not expecting this this quickly. Yeah, we were literally talking to someone today. I was like, when do you think the Dark Angels Codex is going to come out? And we're like, ah, two to three months. <laughs> right, so let's do the timeline here. If you're a salty, salty guard player like me, you remember the last edition, it was three, four months, four months. between our... Uh, box getting released and our full codex being released, mm -hmm. which just sucks because in that whole time you are in limbo. Mm -hmm. But even more recently, world leaders were less than that. Mm -hmm. uh, and as far this is the first army box we've gotten for, for 10th, 10th edition. edition yeah. And this sets an excellent precedent. I agree. I just hope they can keep up with this because what about a month after the army box came out, we now have the full release of the codex and the rest of the models. It's really impressive how fast that is. I still hate the fact that this exists. Yeah. But this is much better than waiting months and months and months. I agree. So let's take a look at what we've got. So first off, we've got the Codex Supplement Dark Angels. The book, what was in the box. Mm -hmm. Special edition, normal edition. How do, you, how do you like that special edition cover? Eh, I, I, I like it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I don't love it. The Tyranids is still the best one. Yes, it is. Out of all of them. But this is not, this, it's not bad. I like the use of old artwork, but I really like when special editions don't have, let me see, how do you say this? Diegetic artwork? No, that's mm. not the right word term for it. The Tyranid Special Edition was really cool because it wasn't a picture of a Tyranid. It was a symbol. No. No? It, it was the uh, the Norn. Oh, you're right. You're right. Never mind. Yeah. They were they were all... They've all been pictures of... Yeah. I don't know. This one is like a very John Blanche-inspired artwork. Yeah, that's true. And I don't like this one as much previously. That's fair. It is still pretty good. As usual, there's going to be a fairly number limited number of copies of the Special Edition. Yeah, I think they usually do, what, 1,500? Does it say... It doesn't say how many. Oh, okay. Soft touch cover, L unique edition. cover art, ribbon, bookmark, and lavish gold foil backing. Lavish gold. 16 unit data sheets. So this is going to be thin. Yeah. And $60. <laughs> and then we get some of the previously announced new units. Mm -hmm. So we get Asmodai, Master of Repentance. With his cool little smoke. <sighs> I hate smoke on GW miniatures. That's fair. And I, I hate how much of it there is on him. See, I think it looks cool. But yeah, it could be better. It only looks cool when you can paint it as well as Games Workshop can. And I can't. I can't either. Most people can't. And yeah. it never looks as good. He's basically a chaplain. Sure. He's a he's a he's a turbo chaplain. Yeah. So give him he has plus one to wound and some other benefits. Could definitely see putting him in a unit of Terminators. Or other people who use Oh, it. he can go in Terminators? Or not you Terminators, uh uh Assault Marines. Oh, yeah. Belial Speaking of Terminators is the guy who goes in the Terminators. <laughs> Grandmaster of the Deathwing. Cool. Again, you don't like GW Fire, just like you don't like GW Smoke. Correct, for the same reason. <laughs> but there's at least less of it. That's true. You can also, like, just cut it off his base. So Blyle's the one who's... This is what really surprises me, mm -hmm. is that the fact that the guy who came in the army box yeah. is already coming out as a solo kit, instead of milking it out for ages and ages and ages. Probably because they sold out so fast. Probably. Yeah. When does is, when is that ever influence their decision? True. <laughs> Inner Circle Companions. So these guys look absolutely amazing mm -hmm. and they are really bad yeah, really they just don't do much for their points hmm. they've got a lot of anti-infantry punch but there's a ton of that already in space marines true like eh i mean they protect your commanders but that bodyguarding is always something that's not that great right yeah now dark angels did lose the ability for many of their chapter master and heroes to go into the uh, company command Oh, okay. Or the, uh, oh, sorry, here's the chapter, whatever they're called. Sure. The guys who do bodyguarding. Yeah. So that's, these guys kind of fill that same role. Gotcha. They're even less good. And those guys already weren't very good. That they Yeah, that's true. They were cheap for their wounds, but that's about it. If these guys are cheap for their wounds, they could be in the same place. Sure. Speaking of cheap for your wounds. <laughs> Deathwing Knights. Absolutely fantastic looking kit. Mm -hmm, love it. Currently in the book points, they're 290 points. If that survives because they are worse than their index deathwing counterparts yep and flat out worse and those were 215 those were 215 these are flat out worse than our 290 now that's because they printed this book you know yeah. six months ago not a single book has had the points that are printed in it be the ones on release they're functionally useless which is yeah. what really makes me mad about the whole pre-release book system yeah they should just stop putting the points in the book. Really? Yeah. Just And have them ready ahead of time. Yeah. Instead, they're going to come out probably with this or shortly afterwards. Yeah. If they don't go down back to 215, like, yeah, they have minus one to wound, mm -hmm. which is very good. And they have the Deathwing rule. 
and they have some Deathwing shenanigans in their uh, Deathwing detachment, which is very good. Right. So you're probably paying a little bit for that cost, but those swords are not good. No, they're they it's, are not. It's a bunch of spamable AP two uh, damage one attacks. These guys should not have damage one. No, they shouldn't. They should have at least mastercrafted swords, which is what the blade guard vets have, and they are damaged too. Yeah, that's what really upsets me. Yeah, like these guys are these guys currently are basically worse blade guard with teleport. That's well, actually, that's these guys are worse blade guard with teleport. <laughs> but these guys are or without teleport. These guys are worse blade guard with teleport and minus one to wound, which is not nothing. Yeah, but they don't have a range attack. Yeah, so yeah, they can also come with maces of absolution, but. They get only one AP and two damage. Yeah. It's slightly better, but one AP kind of hurts. One AP is, is butts. Uh, if they're cheap enough, they'll be good. But right now, at 290, they're unusably bad. Yeah, I don't... I, I can understand going up a little bit with some, like, synergies in the faction or with some, like, detachment stuff. But that is a ridiculous increase. The thing is, you can just use normal Deathwing Terminators who get also all the same synergies. Yeah. They don't have minus one to wound, but they've got... Power fists. Yep. And bolters. Yep. Storm bolters. For what? Two hundred. Uh, it's a little more than that now sure. because they also went up. But yeah, I, honestly, like it sucks because they're just really amazing looking kits. Yeah, they're great. I want to use them. Uh, speaking of wanting to use them, the new Dark Angels upgrades and transfers. Yep. Comes that, with some really cool heads. This also came in the box, right? Or you get one of them, I think. You yeah. get one. Okay. Yeah. Because I knew it came with the um, plasma option mm -hmm. in that box. So this is how you get the plasma option for your terminators, mm -hmm. which is kind of annoying that you have to get it like that. Yeah, cool stuff. Upgrades for all their the uh, terminator arm, regular arm, flavorful stuff. Yep, I like the heads a lot. Yeah, the heads are cool. I, I would put hoods on literally everyone if I was. See, I'm a helmet guy. Hoods and helmet is better. I don't like hooded on helmeted heads. Hood, yeah, no, I don't like un unhelmeted heads at all. Right, but I would do I would do both. I honestly just like the knightly heads. Those are cool. And the Dark Angels dice set and data sheet cards. I don't like these dice. No? No. I kind of like them. I like the Baron of Dice ones better. That's also true. That's You know what? That's just fair across the board. They're also cheaper. Yeah, almost all the time. But they're like the bone ivory type, and I kind of like that. They're very readable. They're very readable. I will not be getting them. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then just uh, going back 10,000 years in time, we've got Siege Breaker Console. This guy was previewed uh, only a few days ago. Yeah, not ago, that long ago. Like a week ago. I thought at first that his little nose thing was a mustache. It's not. It goes up his nose into his brain, presumably. I mean... I just want Marines with handlebar mustaches, just for fun. All of them. All of them. You just have to play Space Wolves, but no beards, just mustaches. This guy's pretty cool because he's got like this really cool computer readout thing that I want to use for some other kit. Yeah. Not enough to buy a Forge Wool kit and butcher it, though. That's fair. I think he looks cool. And we got a book about Lazarus. And Cypher. And, wait, the end times. End times again, again. I'm gonna guess this is another re-release. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is the one everyone hated. <sighs> oh cool. People really did not like the end times books. They were apparently very rushed and just like they flat out left out some characters. So oh yeah, yeah. You told me. you said that last time when the Nagash one came out. Yeah, apparently, uh, poor um, what's his name? The stupid goblin, Skarsnik. Oh. Oh. Apparently, Skarsnik, who's the main goblin hero, like they just never wrote what happened to him because they flat out forgot. <laughs> Goblins yeah, are forgettable. Some other stuff. Uh, worth noting that uh, a lot of this stuff is delayed in Australia and New Zealand. Mm. If for some reason you're watching from there. I mean, we have some Australian viewers. I've seen it. We do. Uh, they're not watching right now because it's like fine in the morning. But <laughs> Yeah. They'll watch it when they wake up. That's fair. <laughs> so all this coming out, going out for pre-order, rather. Yep, this uh, week. A week from today, mm. or rather. A week from yesterday. A week from yesterday. <laughs> the fact, now, it doesn't say whether it'll be a two-week pre-order or not, but honestly, even if it is... Yeah. This fact that this is coming out so quickly is a great sign for the army boxes. Because right. Because that was the worst thing. Even so, even if we look at AOS, the army boxes from AOS, because those have continued to come out, have been longer waits than this. Yes. Like Flesh of Your Courts was about a month and a half. Yeah, I think so. Which was the shortest one. And we were like, oh my God. Oh my it's gosh. So short. Yes. I know that they were blaming that stuff on, you know, shipping problems. Yeah. Due to worldwide blah, blah, blah. But they also, yeah, just. They could handle it better. Like, they could. The, the points being just wrong is just such a slap. I'm just, I hate it. Yeah, again, with the, like, the points being written a year ago. Yeah. Uh, they just should have known and taken it out entirely. Like, 10th like, edition sort of started with no points in books. Save yourself the, the, the 10 cents and don't print that page. Yeah. Just make it digital. Yeah. I guess why they don't want to, because they feel like it's like it's crossing the Rubicon. 
Like, once they do that, then... Someone who doesn't have access to the internet could get the right points. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well, so we'll see you next week. I'll be ordering probably one of each of these things. That's fair. Uh, even if the Inner Circle Command companions suck, I still am going to get a kit. Because it looks really cool. Because they look real flipping cool. Every single model here looks amazing. Yes. Ignore I mean, the rules for a minute. Every single model here is why I play Dark Angels. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm going to never use them in game. <sighs> Sad. Maybe they'll get buffed. Maybe. We'll find out. See you next week. Bye-bye.